Okay, so we'll be going against the Hexaghost as our first boss this evening. Chance to trade away 7 max HP for 250 Spire Bucks. That is a heck of a deal. We've got an early shop right here. We can go through... Well, let's see here. Do we want to do this? Like, ideally, we would take our shop after the events, but we'll, we'll probably do that. We'll go to this early shop. Two combats, two events, and this will be our third combat. So it shouldn't be out of the hard pool unless one of these is a third combat, at which point we can always call an audible and go off to the right here for feeling good and strong. And thank you very much for the follow, by the way. Fortunate turn one. Hey, yesterday's, uh... Yesterday's Spire Slaying felt really good. We were able to... Uh, this guy. We were able to get a few wins out. And with that, I felt good about kind of maybe having shaken the rust off from taking a few days off Slay the Spire. Leave the Ball Lightning, one of the stronger defect attack cards. Common attacks that you can pick up this early on. And by floor two, Ball Lightning is... Eek potential. And uh, the toolbox, I think, still goes slightly underrated. Slightly. Very, very slightly. I think it's come around. Toolbox used to, I think, not give you a choice of three cards. I'm pretty sure that's what it was. That mouse speed... That I'm, I'm warming up for, for maybe some FPS Call of Duty action later on. We'll see how things go. Plus, I've been playing a lot of uh, <laughs> I've been playing a lot of Path of Exile recently. So, uh, hey, hey, strike dummy, hold on now. That changes everything. Uh, strike dummy giving us plus three additional damage to strikes. We still have three. But they're basically strike pluses. If we were to happen to have a strike plus, it would be 12 damage for one energy. It's good value. It allows us to look at maybe a heavier elite path. We could maybe go something like elite combat elite. And then into our first campfire. Usually we want to be taking a campfire before our first elite. But we've got a block potion. And maybe, uh, maybe a toolbox to give us another apotheosis. If it's Lagavulin or something like that. <laughs> exactly. Strategy revealed. Warm up with, uh, with some Slay the Spire. Yeah, no, honestly, it's like after however many hundreds of hours in this game, I just kind of feel like everything's on autopilot. There's something I want to do today, though, um, that I've never done before. This is the first time ever on the stream. And I, I've been thinking about doing this for so, so long. I'm going to go to this cogwheel. I'm going to turn this to zero. And we're going we're gonna to play a different soundtrack over Slay the Spire. Uh, I want to make sure it's not too loud. Yo, first person to guess the soundtrack gets like 50 channel points. Disclaimer, I cannot actually distribute channel points. It is FTL. <laughs> Good job. It brings back so many memories. I feel like it's too late to like go back and be really hardcore about FTL, but it's one of my, like, bigger gaming regrets. FTL and Spelunky are probably my two big indie games that I... <laughs> Take your points. Wait, I was supposed to give you points. It's maybe too loud. I can't barely hear myself talk over that. Um, so Spelunky and FTL, I wish I could go back and, and really master those games, but I feel like they're too late. 
I'll for sure be on the Spelunky bandwagon, or Spelunky, excuse me, Spelunky 2 bandwagon when it comes out. Go with a magnetism. Because why not? Uh, next turn's an okay open with ball lightning and compile driver. Sure. Um, yeah. Solid open. Oh, to the, the point about mouse speed, I also feel like the first 10 floors of this game, I have spent so much time going through after, you know, however many losses that uh, it's just like, I, you really just don't even have to think about it. Just fly through the floors. Do we ever do mayhem? Are there... Is it too meme -y? Is it too late? It is too late. So we could use violence here to draw out the strike and compile driver for next turn if we... If we knew that we didn't want them, so we could purposely draw both of our defense here. We're doing 18 damage over two turns, so the boss is effectively at what? What did I say? 9, 18? So 20 or 19 damage? This will be half. 7 plus 5. It's 12 damage right here. So we're slightly short on damage. Meaning we want, might want to pull through those to get through to something else. Um, to try to get lethal. If we don't get lethal next turn, we say ouch. Now we've got 14 or 15 damage. We're just short. Unless madness hits mind blast exactly. And then we have it. Pretty low odds. It's like a 1 in 5 chance to get lethal here. Otherwise, we just always defend, defend. Which is fine. Yeah, it's probably just madness. Too bad. Oh, it's a new season! Ah, oh, the FTL soundtrack. So good. We picked up an early toxic egg on the defect. Only second to picking up an early toxic egg on, like, the silent. And then the run is essentially won if you don't pick up just hot garbage from that point on. Uh, Darkness Plus is definitely a card at this point. I'm looking right at it. It's a card. Darkness Plus. It should be just, yeah, it's a normal pool fight, easy pool fight. All is well. None of these matter. So Enlightenment never does anything. We don't have anything that costs two. Maybe Secret Weapon is useful here. But I'm going to say, I'm going to say Doubt. Love a good evening coffee, man. It's so good. Glacier Plus. We've got had Darkness Plus and Glacier Plus. We are working our way to the press E to E combo that I absolutely love. Startopia. Was that the, uh, was that the the base builder kind of like Dungeon Keeper era starport thing? That was like a early-ish 2000s game? Yes, that was like, 
Uh, I didn't know about that game when I was a kid, but um, if I did, I would have spent a lot of time in it. I saw it was on, it's still on Steam. I think you can buy Startopia on Steam um, from what I remember. Star, oops. Startopia. It is on Steam for seven bucks. <laughs> What is E to E combo? So the E to E combo is, um, it's like a defect play style where you end up with orb slots, focus, and frost orbs. And for many of the combats in the game, the enemy won't scale with strength. So if you think about a boss like, well, there's a lot of them, like Bronze Automaton, which scales with strength. So he'll gain strength every other turn. Um, a lot of fights don't. So if you go to, like, uh, the Nemesis, the Nemesis is a fight that doesn't scale with strength. Or um, Reptomancer, Giant Head, this fight doesn't scale with strength. So in, in theory, if you get enough orb slots, focus, and frost orbs, you can just press E constantly and never take damage. You just press E. And since we have Darkness Plus in our deck, we can just create a single frost orb, or excuse me, dark orb, and then a bunch of frost orbs to block for us. And we can just keep pressing E until the point where the dark orb kills the thing. And that's the fight. So that's kind of the press E to E uh, combo that we talk about. It is a toolbox run. Yeah, we got We traded seven max HP for 250 gold. Went to an early shop on floor two and there was a toolbox. So had to do it. Hasn't done anything too amazing for us so far, but it's it's not bad. We got a magnetism on the Lagavulin fight. That was that was pretty okay. This is my favorite song on the soundtrack. Absolute banger. Uh, we can get this Dark Orb in front for dual cast next turn. We Dark Orb, Ball Lightning, Zap. That's what we have to do. It's two skills. It's probably correct. just want to make sure it's an actual kill. It'll be 36 damage next turn. Let's just say we're always doing this. So you would take eight this turn from playing Zap. That goes to 48, maybe 47. And then you take six, 41, plus six, 35. Dual cast for 36, yes. It's lethal, and we have other strikes in there and stuff too. Probably skip this stuff for now, yeah? Buffer's okay later if we get to four energy and it happens to be upgraded. I actually really like where the deck is right now. I don't feel the need to add turbo yet. Cold snap, it's probably already too late for the cold snap with the... Glacier Plus. I'm gonna skip this stuff for now. Blue Candle's especially bad with the Omamori having already been picked up. We'll take a very early Sapphire Key, which I'm I'm good with. And we want to think ahead to like the Hexaghost fight. Um, Darkness Plus, Glacier Plus were already offensively and and defensively pretty strong. Uh, getting something like uh, an auto shields upgraded or making our zap free could be worthwhile. Quarantine and chill. We're already. I'm already. Like this is this is actually full on caffeinated coffee at uh, a six p.m. I'm ready to game the night away, as it were. Z, hello to you as well. The the cat's pretty good. 
I've actually, uh, I've closed, <laughs> I've changed strategies, so I've, I've closed the door so they can't come in here and disrupt me anymore. And it was because one of my cats learned that he could press the power button on my computer and turn it off, uh, which was not okay. <laughs> I was, I was not good with that, uh, from him. Probably trip. If we get a single strike, we can kill the fat gremlin with trip. I was wrong. Still fine. And suspended from your company. Wait, suspend like furloughed or can you go back? <laughs> I guess is the question. Because my company is also talking about um, putting people on hold, as it were. Which is very scary. But we're not there. It's coming, but we're not quite there yet, so. Got him. Glacier Plus. Oh, God. Uh. Oh, they call it a layoff? Uh. Disconnect the header for that button on the motherboard? That's actually a great idea I hadn't thought of. I could do that. That's an idea. It's actually it's on the top of my case. It wouldn't even be that hard to reach. Um, it's an idea. Maybe. Yeah, our company gu guaranteed us pay through April, and then after that, we'll see. It's scary times, you know. Very scary times. Uh, a second Glacier Plus is hard to pass, or excuse me, take, actually, because we don't have much offense outside of the single Dark Orb. We would want something else to help us through... The Hexaghost fight, unless the strategy is just to play Darkness and let it get to the point where we can dual cast and kill the Hexaghost. Which is going to be tough. We'd have to kind of draw it on turn one and then use Compile Driver and Strikes to actually kill. It's kind of either that or take Streamline, though. Hey, thank you very much for the follow. Yeah, I'm technically working from home, and I'm also able to... So I'm currently taking classes for my uh, master's degree and potentially enrolling in a PhD program starting next year, if I get in. So the really scary part is if they... If I were to be terminated or furloughed or whatever, I would lose all that progress on my um, master's, or I wouldn't be able to complete it, I guess, in a timely manner. So there's a lot of lot of anxiety going on uh, somewhere in my mind that I'm I'm suppressing through playing Slay the Spire and hanging out with all of you guys. So, <laughs> so thanks. To fight him, give him the business. Hey, Noxel. All right. So we've got the bomb going off next turn. Let's try to get darkness in play, I suppose. Or not. Get some frost orbs instead. The perfect get here. Where is the soundtrack? The song is called Deep Space, and there's no noise, as far as I can tell. It's too deep. It makes sense, but... Give me something to listen to. Axel with the Twitch Prime! Four months. Thank you, my friend. Thank, thank you. 
a pleasure to have you stopping by. And uh, I hope all is well where you are. Out there on the uh, on the seaboard or something? I don't know. I don't remember. I mean, I remember, but. Sure. Very cool. Oh, we have the bomb. Never mind. An urn faced bird on the defect. This could be the one. Maryland. I thought it was Massachusetts. I had Massachusetts going through my head, but I didn't want to say it. Yeah, we've been we've been doing all right over here. Nice. From what I remember, uh you it sounds like you would have the kind of job that could potentially be done remotely, so that's that's always nice. Um, bullseye could be how we actually kill the hexaghost with our darkness frost orb thing. Could be. Okay, this song is also kind of boring. Go with Mantis. Oh, we got him. Is it a fear potion and a defrag? Yes, please. This is exactly what we need. I was thinking about upgrading our bullseye so we'd have three turns to potentially dual cast this dark orb, but defrag with two glaciers in the deck already. So this is the this is the press E to E combo that we were kind of talking about earlier. We're almost there. Oh, you love to see it. You love to see it. That's that's a turn two right there. Okay. And now, Vivet. Sadly, not do much of anything else. We can kind of math this out. So this is 45 times 2. This is 90 damage from the Stark Orb right now. We're going to keep waiting. We'll go one more time around. And we should be able to get back to dual cast Bullseye before we end up, you know, dying. Hopefully. Dual cast? Got him. Ooh, hoo -hoo. Now this is a this is a defect run right here. Okay. A choice is at an ectoplasm, a slaver's collar, and a Pandora's box. We've got three cards that say two on them right now. An energy relic is ideal. Pandora's box is also very takeable, considering the cards that we've added in so far. We've got plenty of block. We've got focus already. Um, we do have strike dummy, but honestly, who cares? Getting rid of this stuff is also very, very good. Having a toxic egg means that all of the transforms from our defends and strikes would come into our deck upgraded. So there's a good chance we'd also come away with the Pandora's box with a few more upgraded cards as well. Pandora's to screw the deck? I mean, there's if there's any way to ruin a run it's potentially by taking a pandora's box but to be fair at this point like i said we've got two glacier pluses we've got an auto shield it's like we've got block we've got damage just getting rid of strikes and defends might be a good good thing for us i really want the fourth energy but i'm not sure we can really get there we'll have to wait until uh i think the end of act two We'll do the box. Blessed be thy Pandora's box. Open wide and give us bountiful gifts of... Hey, wait, we already have this one. Ugh. Well, um... It... 
it's not so bad. Um, it's not so good, but it's not so bad. So if you think about it, we traded in three strikes. We got a rip and tear, a sweeping beam, and an FTL, which I'm going to say are just better than strikes, even in the face of strike dummy at this point. Meteor strike technically does plus three damage, though we can never play it. Uh, we got a second copy of electrodynamics. Sure. And then a leap instead of a defend. Hello world is garbage. We'll see what comes of it. The meteor strike is basically a curse at this point, but it is what it is. We don't really have to shy away from elites in this act, I think. We've got the glaciers and focus for Book of Stabbing. We've got two copies of Electrodynamics for Gremlin Leader and the Tri-Slavers. But man, these paths to the elites are filled with combats. I'm also going to prioritize events through this act to see if we can pick up some curses. Not really good odds of that, but we do have the Toxic Egg for the Apparitions event, if we were to happen to find it. Um... I'm thinking like the Warp Tongs event would be would be ideal. Sometimes we can trade. I think we can trade in that Act Two or Act One, gold for a relic, or the Shame Curse for a relic. Is that is that Act Two? Well, anyway, there are literally events that we could trade in our Omomori for. Hello World could technically give Turbo. I cannot argue against that. <laughs> that oh, I see. So Hello World could technically give Turbo, and then we could potentially get the Meteor Strike. I see. I see. All right. I thought maybe we could get one off with uh, Mayhem there, but we're not going to be doing it. Ooh, this song is also a banger. Ah! Oh! Excuse me, Balloon Brigade? Oh my goodness, how did you know? Have you played this seed before? Holy... It does 27 damage! <laughs> That's so incredible. Not only did it happen, it was the first card we got from Hello World. Not not only did it happen. That's incredible. Oh, what do we even do here? Is it even correct to play this this turn? <laughs> it's the other question. So if we were to play Meteor Strike, these evoke for 14 block. Is this a, is this a kill? Are we close to a kill? We've got to be close to a kill, right? Because we can evoke one of these... But yeah, yeah, we've got to be close to a kill. But we don't have it. Uh, we do have another copy of Electrodynamics and Mayhem, if we could draw it here. Or some HP. We cannot draw them. Oh, well. Probably just the hologram. So it's plus on it. Consume plus. We go to two orb slots. Three energy. Another two cost card just kind of feels bad. Not being attacked on turn one. Cards all kind of suck. Draw an attack from our attack pile. Uh, let's draw Meteor Strike, actually. That way we don't have to draw it on a future turn. 
No disrespect to Meteor Strike. I recognize how amazing it was in the last fight. Okay, we've got 15, 19 block right now. This is our draw next turn. It's atrocious. We could play the Hello World, since we probably have a Compile Driver coming around. That give us something useful. We also gain 2 HP from it, I guess. Just give me the Compile Driver so I don't feel bad. Oh. Also works. Uh, yeah. Okay. Gotta remember to get that HP from um, the Urn Face Bird. Another copy of Leap Plus. Seems okay. And I'll take the Power Pot over the Smoke Bomb. Pulling the glacier here, right? Yeah, leap plus is great. Honestly, I, instead of the second leap plus, I would have rather had like a charge battery plus at this point since we're stuck on three energy. But um, I don't know. Between the glaciers and the auto shields, you got 21 cards. We're drawing five cards per turn. You can kind of raise it out. If you're drawing five cards per turn, We've got like four-ish turns there before we cycle the deck. It's really rough numbers, but that's kind of what goes through my mind. We've got five blocks, five big blocks. Maybe one-ish per turn, right? Uh, I think I was meant to bullseye there, actually. Well, it's not too late. Then, if we can... Play a power? It's not a power. Oh, well. <gasps> it's happening. Capacitor plus. We don't even have a frozen egg. Why do we have capacitor plus here? This is the one. This is the chosen run. Every once in a while... The Spire is kind. Oh my goodness. The toolbox. Uh, you love to see it, is all I have to say. Like this, Meteor Strike, Glacier, and then we're evoking these Plasma Orbs. We can do the another, another Glacier. Even sweeping beam in there sometimes. That is the way. What a beautiful run. Because of the it is because of the toolbox. Spread the good word of the toolbox, my friends. Uh, is the Rockmen theme? <laughs> okay. The black. Kind of an awkward turn. Can't hologram auto shields, so we can't 
pull back any block. We'd have to hologram back like a zap. Just for three block. Kind of feels bad. We could also compile driver into a leap, maybe? Maybe we should do that first. We'll check. That is not leap. So we'll take the block. Okay. We either won or lost a couple 50-50s there, depending on your perspective. Excuse me. Now to employ the good old press E strategy that we were talking about earlier. So the idea here is we're going to keep pulling around to our other copies of Glacier for the purpose of getting all of our powers into play so we can heal with the burn face bird. Uh, we'll try to make it as quick as possible because honestly I don't feel the need to sit here forever and uh, it's almost autopilot but not quite. Power being electrodynamics. Are you gonna kill it here on accident? No. Ah, hello world in electro, excuse me. So we get plus four HP for our patients. I mean, what do you even do? Second copy of Capacitor? Or a cool-headed plus for the card draw? We're, we're desperately in need of the card draw. It does say plus on it. I think the orb slots get us the win. We're going against the Collector. It's got to be Capacitor. Hey, Glacier Plus, as well as Cool Headed and Fusion. Ooh. <sighs> There's so many options that we want here. This is the best library I've maybe ever been to. It's very, very good. Yeah, loop is nice. It's kind of like an extra orb slot. It does have an anti-synergy with our auto shields if a frost orb is in front, but that's probably not worth considering right now. It's one of the ways we can scale up a dark orb. Um, if we get the dark orb in front with a bunch of frost orbs behind it and then a loop plus triggering the dark orb, you know, ultimately three times per turn, two from loop and one just passively. That, uh, that could be our scaling for us. I kind of feel the need for a card draw, though. Fusion's great, and fusion could be one of the ways we are able to play Meteor Strike. I think we've seen this deck is, I mean, it's very strong once we get our stuff into play, but our only card draw right now is FTL. And setting up Capacitor defrag very early on in the run, like on the Collector fight, is, is how we win, ultimately. When is Fusion good? A lot of times Fusion's good when it says plus on it. Um, it's hard to play through Act 1 when you're only on 3 energy, and it's all, I mean, it's hard to play on 3 energy in general. I think, but one energy for uh, 
a plasma orb is is good value it pays for itself the very next turn um, but it's very relative it's it's tough to say it's kind of like when is recycle good on the defect and you could you could argue like okay well it thins out your deck it's really good on long boss fights but then you say it's exceptionally good when you have a runic pyramid or something like that so uh, in this instance if we can keep the plasma orb around it gets us to four energy per turn it's very good here it's very good here the issue is that we don't have card draw and we're approaching a 25 card deck as well as some elites this act so if we get a bad draw on turn one and we need to draw through to like our electrodynamics on the tri-slavers we just can't that's that's a big problem like a second copy of hologram is really good here too so i'd say between hologram fusion loop cool-headed and glacier we have fantastic choices in this in this shop or library if we were on four energy the skim plus might just be the take but I don't like Skim Plus as much when we have so many orb slots and uh, and some focus already. So I'm going to do the Cool Headed. It is a common card, so there's a non-zero chance that we just would have found it uh, in a combat from this point forward too. So Oh my... Okay, so this is actually a problem. Because we're getting attacked next turn almost no matter what. I mean, we are, because we, we can't kill uh, one of the gremlins. So we are getting killed, or hit next turn, no matter what. If we get hologram, it's going to be great for the panic button. Got, like, invisible cat here. So ideally, we pull through to the hologram and then can grab panic button for next turn. That's kind of why I took it. We have another copy of Capacitor in the draw pile still, so we don't have to play that here. It's probably just Defrag and Glacier. And then maybe we think about one of these potions for next turn. Power potion's okay. I'd like to save the power potion for later on, maybe for this fight if we get in trouble. Maybe just the Collector. Get am boys. Good old motivational gremlin leader. So leap plus is good. We'll ditch the rest of this stuff for now. So these lightning orbs evoke for 10. If we were to electrodynamics here, it would be 10, 25 damage to all. And then we could cool head it again. So that's 20 plus how much is left? Is that right? 10, 20, 30 damage. We don't actually kill these guys. Oh! <laughs> All hail. B, G, a D. Both uh, channel cutie over in Baylor's channel and also ruler of the throne over here as well. The man gets channel points, what can I say? Up to 17,000 points. The song is also a banger. Dang, this, this soundtrack is so good. It's 29 songs long. Woo! Yeah, I was wondering how you had the VIP badge in Baylor's channel. I, I think I commented on it the other day, but it's because of uh, the Channel Cutie thing, I realized. It's 
got to be electrodynamics, right? We take the hit. We get 1421 block. It's a bunch of damage points. And we can play Zap as well. I know. I, yeah, the Gremlin Leader lines are highly motivational. I, I love this fight for that reason. It's either that or we basically pass and do nothing, which feels way too slow. Okay. Block ten, 10 basically here. It hurts. It hurts. But we're still fine. It's hologram. I said it before, I'll say it again. Soundtrack is such a treat. Love it. Ball Lightning versus Capacitor. Capacitor heals us for two, and we're winning this fight eventually anyway. Gonna heal for two here. So we're taking another hit. Ouch. Missed 2 HP from Hello World. Oh well. It was... Oh my... This is the one? This is the one. Pick up a genetic algorithm plus... If we had an echo form at this point... That would be... That would be what's missing. I think we might do Transform 2 on Hello World and Meteor Strike. Force Field? I don't need Force Field. We got two copies of Glacier Plus. We got five orb slots and a defrag already. I know, Transform with Toxic Egg, Frozen Egg. How do you not? We don't ever do this, right? Okay, pick up a Reinforced Body Plus and a Doom and Gloom. And a Boat Thing. Thwack? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> okay. I don't think you realize. You're trapped in here with me. Regen pot here. Probably. How does the defect get KO'd? Uh, I believe they steal his focus. Uh, we do too much damage. Can we please stop? I want to play this genetic algorithm. And maybe get some more healing off, too. No! And we lose... Regen pod value? Alright, 
Maybe mistakes were made. To victory. I haven't had Thwack in so long. It's been... I think it's been months since I've seen the Thwack event. Somewhere between Panacea and Enlightenment. Probably Enlightenment. This is going to be 20 damage to all. We will take a hit here. Still think it's correct. This guy's dead next turn. This guy's maybe dead next turn. Got him. A lizard tail. And a kunai. 100 gold as well. I think that's maybe often overlooked in that event is how much gold you get from it. Uh, chill could be awesome if we pull into an event with Capacitor on turn 1 and stuff. Did not play Genetic Algorithm either of those turns. Also Overclock, though. Uh, man, it's got to be, it's got to be picking Enlightenment and Slay the Spire. It's got to be. It's very rare. This is the rare Enlightened defect run. Dang, this is the r r r r r remix. This is the battle mix. See, we've got two glaciers and a cool headed. I think we've been struggling with card draw. Uh, we have so many good things to pull from our deck, and we just have to get through to them. On my, my Spotify video games playlist, that FTL song is on is on the playlist because it's my favorite FTL song. But right after it is the Pokemon theme song from like the TV show. So every time it ends, I keep expecting the I want to be the very best thing to start. And it's just not it's not happening. It's kind of throwing me for a loop. Uh, I don't know if we get much kunai value out of this deck. Sometimes with like an FTL turn, but I think it's pretty rare. Lizard Tail definitely, definitely won't see any value at all from this point forward. Aha! A block card. Uh, but wait. Um, we're taking a pretty big hit here. Heal for two. <laughs> Practices my Pokeball throws? I practice my Pokeball throws every day, my friend. I still have Pokemon Go on my phone, so I'm, I'm a pretty serious gamer, as you can tell.
Hmm, if it wasn't obvious. Okay, we've got the kill with Rip and Tear. We've got Capacitor right here for 2 HP. Never mind. Stack plus. Don't think so. We could take the compile driver for more card draw, but I think we're we're good. Ancient potion doesn't work with anything right now. So we'll pass. Oh my. Got 424 spire bucks to spend here. It's a lot of cash for a for a robot. Uh preserved insect is basically always taken here as well as the defrag plus. It's always this. It's always this. And then I wonder if we have anything to remove. Frankly, at this point, we could remove Zap Plus and maybe Rip and Tear, which are just doing nothing. Rip and Tear, like I said, is one of the ways we proc Kunai, but... Eh. I think we'll just save our money. Charge Battery Plus could also be very good. As yet another block card. Kind of a question of if we want to go to this shop because if we do we could take the money that we get from here go to this shop and maybe pick up uh an echo form we might have enough money for it or something else yeah let's move on tiny book of stabs this is all terrible I'll just take Forethought and not play it. Or maybe we take Mind Blast and not play it. I guess if we're going to take a card with the intention of not playing it, we should want it to be playable the next time we draw it, just in case, which would be Mind Blast. I guess. Ooh. Yeah, we've got to do that. We've got another copy of uh, Capacitor in the deck that's yet to be drawn, so... The fact that we didn't get it down there isn't such a big deal. It update this... So we're getting hit for 21. The play is, I think, Ball Lightning and then Glacier. So we evoke a single Frost Orb. We'll come away with 12 plus 9, 21 block exactly. Seems pretty good. Excuse me, I have way more block than I thought for some reason. <laughs> Never mind. We pull back here. I think it's either zap, just for some damage, or we could pull back cool headed for a frost orb. Seventeen plus six twenty three. We take one to pull back a cool headed. Okay, block from glacier itself. Oh yeah. That's why. <laughs> I feel like this is one of the problems that I run into with these defect runs that are so overpowered that 
It's like, just don't mess it up. And then I, I lose track of the little stuff. Okay. So with Overclock, we always know what we're drawing here. The Leap, the Genetic Algorithm, and the Rip and Tear. If we were to Auto Shields, Genetic, genetic Algorithm, Leap. You'd be in an all right spot. Sometimes we want to play this Electro too, though. Twenty-one, thirty-two block. Take three if we do that. But we heal two from electros. It's kind of like we take one, and then we're set up for a kill. I think next turn. Oh, the Mind Blast. The Galaxy Brain play. This is exactly why we put it in the deck. <laughs> That's why. The Blood Vial, a third copy of Electrodynamics. Or the Go for the Eyes, which does work with our Kunai. And we have some card draw to maybe make it work. Not certain that we need it, but perhaps for the Kunai. It does say plus on it. Rebound is also pretty good for some stuff, like our Hologram. Maybe Darkness Plus at some point. Darkness is probably how we're killing the Collector at this point. Do the go for the eyes. Duh. Orange pellets for nothing right now, but for the future bias cog that we are for sure getting. I mean, at this point, at this point, how does the game not give us bias cog? They've given us everything else. I believe in the heart of the spire. Wait, no, I don't. We're trying to kill the heart of the spire. I believe that the game will give us a bias cog. And, oh, that's true. The, the collectors make a debuff and the debuff on turn two of the heart. All good things. Okay. Was I meant to get Electro down there? Maybe. Probably. Take some damage here. Oh my. Orange pellets, thank you. <laughs> Did I say defrag? I meant to say bias cog. I don't even know at this point. Do need our orb slots. We just haven't gotten yet. So we have power, skill, and attack in our drop pile. Good. Always drawing overclock too. I think we're 
we're in the good place now. We're just missing the other copy of Capacitor. Care about this? Nah. Big damage. That's 7 times 5. Got 35 damage just kind of coming in randomly. Is there not dying? Hmm. That is it for our powers. Now we just end the fight. Got him. And here's our bias cog. Oh, that's not bias cog. Dang. Um, I'm just playing. It's Echo Form. <laughs> it's always Echo Form. Uh, I'm just playing. We could go three energy with our Runic Pyramid here. It's... It's probably what we do. I mean, it is what we do, but we do have a lot of two cost stuff in here. So there's a non-zero chance that our hand just gets clogged up with junk that we can't quite play, but it's 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 always Runic Pyramid. Going against the time meter. So classic question, we've got all these powers in the deck and uh, sometimes you get asked, well, how are you gonna kill the bird with arms? And I say, we just don't fight the bird with arms. It's a tried and true strategy. Got a single campfire? No, we can get this one here. Got two campfires, okay. Got a path through this flaming elite here. We'll pick up our bias cog at this node. And uh, that should be it. <laughs> it's an awesome strategy. Thank you. Only the only the best latest Spire tips here at twitch.tv slash first stain. Tell your friends. Get a pencil. Number two, please. Nineteen twenty-three. Okay, we're not exactly dumping our hand space here, which is the issue. We want to get Echo Form genetic algorithm off as much as we can now. Eighteen, twenty-four, thirty. Pick one. Draw three whole cards. Oh, and we're always killing him this turn because of our orbs. Oh, well. Okay. Beam Cell Barrage is some scaling damage for us outside of just using our orbs. Could be necessary. Single copy of Barrage isn't so bad. I'll take it. <laughs> nice HP. Thank you. It is nice HP. Let's do three. Dark Shackles, Dark Shackles. 
probably a skip or a flash of steel with our kunai. It'd be a thing. I wonder if we ever use panic button, though. I mean, sometimes we use panic button for, like, big turn on the heart or reptomancer. We've got the runic pyramid. I can just hang out until we get our frost orbs and stuff. This could be how we get our echo form into play as well. So we for sure want this Dark Shackles. I'm going to take this Panic Button and... Uh, I just don't know if we care about this Flash of Steel or not. We're going into the Time Eater fight too, where this has really low value. Oh, that's true. We could clear uh, Panic Button debuffs with Pellets. That's a good point. Sure. Let's do it for kunai value. Why not? Just take all three. Okay, we're getting hit for 20 damage. A reinforced body for two to take zero. Or we can play this Ball Lightning. Also want to be careful. I really do want to get our Echo Form genetic algorithm into play. Or at least get that online. So having all these Lightning Orbs in play would be a bad thing for us. If we were to Ball Lightning here... Oh wait, we don't have Electro in play. Never mind, we'll just do this. Okay. Then we need to clear these out. Just can't do right now. Really need like a glacier next turn. I'll roll the dice a little bit. Okay. That's exactly what I asked for. And now the Vades. Ah, uh, don't do that. Don't do that. Ideally, we echo form all of our powers, but it's just not really possible. Hey, Timnos. It's, uh, it's another beautiful night in the Spire. Glad you could stop by. Icho form. Here we go. Absolute 10 out of 10 gameplay. Min-maxing as usual. Uh, claw? Uh, no, no claw. No claw. Probably this flex potion over the strength potion, considering we have the orange pellets. Self repair is wholly unnecessary. This was not our bias cog. I tried to call the shot. Balloon Brigade has the only perfect called shot of the night. So far. So far. Everything else is pretty all right. Uh, honestly, I feel like the Doom and Gloom has pretty low value at this point. We could consider removing that. We're on three energy. It's going to be tough to get Doom and Gloom off. Also, just this Rip and Tear. We've got things that we could remove here. Go for absolute kunai value there. I don't know what's worse. Rip and tear or doom and gloom. Compile driver still has value. Ball lightning could also probably go. 
but it summons a, a lightning orb for our Electro, so it still has maybe more value than Doom and Gloom. It's one of our only sources of Dark Orbs, so I guess Doom and Gloom, as we approach the later late game, could be alright for us if we don't pull into Darkness Plus. So that, maybe that just means Rip and Tear. We have a late shop up here, and the Act 4 shop. I'm going to hold off, actually. Oh, and that's exactly what was just suggested. I agree. I agree. I don't think we need to rush that. Give me my defrags, please. Close. Close. Okay, so this is 8, 16, 24. This is a kill here, as well as our Hand of Greed. So if we Hand of Greed this guy, then we just leap. Say it's good enough. Echo form. The Urn Phase Bird healing is absolutely obscene. We don't really have to worry anything at this point about anything at this point. We'll like pull back hand of greed and go full greed mode. The only thing left to do is to heal to full. Kill to full and not kill the orb. It's, it's more difficult than it seems. Uh, like nothing that we can double here. We could double... Actually, we can double darkness. Hey! Nice. Leap, Force Field Plus, another copy of Overclock. My image is blocking the intents of the orbs? Oh. I'll keep an eye out for the next one. Oh, Third Hand of Greed, no! Oh no, I didn't see it. I didn't see it. Well, we got two out of three. I guess that's that's fine. I was so focused on getting back to uh, full HP that I completely forgot about that. Get a small floaty boy that uh, can regen. Uh, none of these. So we can't take creative AI because we have Runic Pyramid and three energy. We'd never be able to dump all those cards. Uh, da, 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 da. I guess we'll just do reboot just in case things go absolutely terribly. I guess it dumps our hand too. It's so terrible on this fight though because it shuffles your 
all your cards into your draw pile. So all these burns that are added into our discard pile will be that much more effective. Um, it's it's tough to reason out the reboot outside of if we have nothing else to do in our hands. Oh ho ho, the kunai brock. Oh yeah, you're right. Blood vial. We had blood vial. Well. Alright, 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 alright. I get it. Wasn't perfect. But all plays from here on out. Guaranteed to be perfect. I don't really want to use our Dark Shackles already. But I do want to draw cards. Not those cards, though. Um... Alright, let's clear some space, I suppose. Like this, I guess. Okay. So we needed the Dark Shackles or Panic Button to get our Echo Farm into play. Is this... This floaty boy is not taking any days off. Is this? That song's gotta go. Thank you so much, Floaty Boy. Just the one turn means all the world. Got our genetic algorithm off. We'll have to go one more turn before we can just dual cast away this dark orb. There goes our panic button debuff. Double panic button. I know, I know, double panic button, but <laughs> it was still the right play. All right, pick up a gremlin horn, our emerald key piece, chance at a boot sequence, a chill plus, and a ball lightning. We passed on chill plus earlier in the run. I think it could be okay. From what I've noticed, now that we're on 34 cards, we are having a hard time pulling around to our glaciers. Like, the deck does something really well, but at this point, there's so many cards in it. And I know adding in a, an innate card doesn't necessarily solve that problem, but maybe it gets us to the point where we can, I don't know, get other things in play. Oh, I love the boot sequence, beta art. One of my favorites. Unload. The unload beta art on the silent is still my favorite beta art in the game, but I can't show that one off right now. It's the silent unloading the back of a truck and she has a bunch of uh, her relics, a bunch of the silence relics. All right. So yes, the goal is to do three hands of greed, if we can swing it. Got two copies of Hologram, so ideally we're saving those for uh, the killing blow on these guys. If I can remember to do it. Oh, 
if we can get any damage down. Guys going to plus 15 strength. Oh man. Uh <laughs> Okay. These cards do spark joy. But the three energy, if we had the fourth energy, this would be so much different. This is 4, 8, 12. Go to 26. We cannot quite hand of greed you yet. We're always doing that. May just want to doom and gloom for the extra block here. We get an extra three block this turn, which isn't that much, but gets this guy really close to Hand of Greed range. This guy's such a problem. Colorless beta art? Wait, what is... Can't, how do I turn it on? Don't you have to enable all beta art to do that? Playtester art mode? I don't want to do that. That's too much. 27 damage, my dude. This is why we have panic button. Ugh. The Hand of Greed play might just be too greedy at this point. Maybe order there, I think. I think we took one extra damage. Okay. We can panic button, and we can echo form. Next turn, we can clear the panic button if we have to. Oh, And we can also just double hand of greed for 40 damage on like this nerd. But it's okay, we've got lots of powers left to play in the deck. We've got Genetic Algorithm to double. We can get most of this HP back, I think. Attack, skill... I don't think I'm going to play this power. I want to double it for the healing. But this guy, this guy's got to go. It's going to be a plus 20 strength. <laughs> oh my god. It's a bit ridiculous. How do we kill you? Is the question. Just do damage. Okay. Come on now. We're, we're, we're almost there. Twenty five damage. <laughs> Please stop. It's too much. Get rid of the cards. Just get rid of the cards. Everything has been doubled. This is worse than the Nemesis fight. It's going to plus 30 strength. Ridiculous. 
Wait, maybe Hand of Greed, though? Hmm, maybe, maybe Hand of Greed. Thirty-one. We are at sixteen twenty-four, so we're full blocking. That's not a problem. Doing nine. Uh. Get rid of this guy. Please. I need to draw cards. Oh, not those cards. I can only draw one card. It's Hand of Greed. Trust. <sighs> oh, it kills, though. This doesn't. No! Ah. Oh well. We tried. We tried. Chance of power potion, a consume plus. Give me that. Uh chance at another power potion or this flex potion. The flex potion then is really nice with our barrage. Sometimes we just double up the power potion. Do an early recall here and say Triforce complete. Hey, bronze scales for nice, some nice passive damage too. What are we looking at here? We're looking at either Giant Head or Snack Lady. It is Snack Lady. Yeah, Consume is fantastic. So this is like full-on press E to E build that we were talking about earlier. Banash sometimes has a place. Apotheosis also sometimes has a place. Most of our deck is upgraded thanks to the eggs. It doesn't, doesn't do that much. And maybe to a greater point, it doesn't do that much that's like important at all. It's a, it's a few attacks, maybe. So I guess we just panache. Can chill for next turn. This next turn might be terrible. Storm would have been nice if I had actually uh, played this first. Could also just do static discharge. I think I'll do this. We should be getting some immediate value out of that. So if we have chill reinforced body for next turn, that could just be our whole turn. Meaning we may want a hologram here. Maybe. Barricade body slam. Man. The possibilities. Yeah, Prismatic Shard is, is so cool. We did a Prismatic Shard run yesterday that fell flat. We had we got Wraith Form Plus on the Ironclad. And unfortunately, the Book of Stabbing got us because it was 1 times 5 damage and we had 5 HP. <laughs> it was rough. Yes, we'll do this. One lightning orb, please. Okay. Must consider. So Electrodynamics makes a whole lot of lightning orbs. You would go to... Well, we only go to four. And they evoke for eight each. But if we were to chill, we generate five orbs. So we go to here with Electro. Generate one, two... 
three, four, five. So we evoke three lightning orbs. We can also use defrag. Three lightning orbs, that's at least 16, 24 damage to everything. We probably will defrag here. So we're free to throw FTL on the pajama clad snack lady. Hey, 0% sneaky. We're always using defrag. We're always using electro. And we're always using chill. Whew. That's amazing. <laughs> That's a beautiful turn. And panache, just for fun. All right, this is 32 damage. We're blocking for 8, 16, 20, 32. You love to see it. Get a double on our genetic algorithm. Thank you very much. Um, so I believe we have the kill with Barrage. But even with Blood Vial, we're short 1 HP, 1 HP here. So if we could pull around to like a single power, be nice. Probably completely unnecessary for the 1 HP. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's 1 HP. <laughs> Cannot possibly matter. Uh, you forgot to. I think Redbeard. Yeah, next time you next time you stream Slay the Spire, make sure you double click on streamerluck.exe before you actually start your stream. It's a direct. It's a direct pipe, a physical pipe, right into Megacrit headquarters, and uh, that'll give you that'll give you what you need. Then everyone watches the stream and goes, that looks so easy. How do, how do they do that? And then you go to try to do it yourself, and it, you're like, what? it doesn't work. It's a secret. Sure, take my bullseye. Big brain plays, exactly. Sometimes this, sometimes this. We're gonna have a hard time finding the energy to actually use the bomb. And also shout out to Omomori for being completely useless this run. We went through quite a few events in Act 2. We didn't find any ways to get rid of these uh, Omomori charges. It's really a question of if we can ever get the bomb off that I'm kind of struggling with. I'm gonna doubt it. At least purity exhausts itself. I think this fight could be, could be a problem. Where's the spaghetti? I'm, I'm happy to die to transient if it means that I don't have to fight the writhing mass a single time. Even if I completely dunk it, I don't even want to see it. Say good enough here, right? Good enough. I'll grab back Rip and Tear.
yeah, I took Purity mostly um, because it can just exhaust itself. So if we're ever not going to draw five cards in a turn and we're okay with what we have in our hand, we can just play Purity and um, you can choose to exhaust nothing and it'll clear up a hand space. Let's see, I believe we want two charges... Four, four turns of weak. And then we should be good there for the rest of the fight. Um, we can just go leap, leap here. Be good. Really good damage there. Wonder if we ever hologram back the ball lightning. I prefer not to. Darkness is a waste. So darkness is a good target for purity as well as consume, since consume will be too slow. We're stuck on three energy here. So those two will almost certainly get purity this turn. And we can save Cool Headed for next turn. I think that's enough. Oh. It wasn't. Um, I think this is fine. It is not fine. I think I made a mistake. So my plan was to double genetic algorithm for this turn, but I didn't get three things in play for the orange pellets to proc away the uh, the no block. So we say whoops. I think we double genetic or uh, electro instead. Just nice, nice bottom of the draw pile here. Oh, I really wanted the Flash of Steel. Ah, <laughs> uh, How much is our genetic algorithm at? It's probably high enough if we ever double it with Echo Form. 43? It's probably high enough. Good enough. Get out of here. Felt like a really messy fight. Third copy of Hologram? We're having such a hard time getting through the deck. I don't want to go to 36 cards. We need to, if anything, we need to be removing cards, not adding more. Did I play it for zero? No, because we were going to be taking a fair amount of damage. So I played Defrag instead to get plus two focus on all of our lightning orbs. Blind or Panache? Or Flash of Steel, actually. A Flash of Steel. Okay, so this fight, we, we actually need just better draws than we've been getting. There we go. This helps. Uh, this is our other copy of Defrag, so we go to only four focus, but with all the orb slots, genetic algorithm, 
and glaciers yet to come. I think that's fine. We don't get to double it with echo form, but we do get it out of our hand. Let's get this out of our hand. Where's Recycle when we need one? I think we're getting that from the card reward screen after this. Pretty sure. <laughs> no, we're, it's still fine. It's still fine. We're fine. Except we're only drawing two cards. But we're still fine. We're still fine. Hey, Echo Form. Nice. So we're blocking for 12, 24, 30. We'd take three here to get Echo Form into play. Seems like a deal. Tick tock of the block is plain fold. All plain and beautiful. Echo Form, huh? echo form we could just kind of inefficiently echo form our cool headed for a single draw or barrage but we don't have any slow debuffs on I think we're killing with this dark orb pretty sure that's a fact oh consume though Zoom is a card. Which is this? Eighteen thirty. Okay, it's enough. Yeah, this fight is uh, its pretty over. We're looking to double our genetic algorithm before we just dual cast this lightning orb and call it good. You love to see it. Oh, I didn't go to full health. <laughs> oh well. Turbo! I told you Turbo was a. Uh... Oh no, you said recycle. Never mind. <laughs> turbo works too. Hey, Turbo! I love Turbo. A good card. It's a really good card. So good, maybe we take a second one. Pretty sure that's the case. And then we've got one, two, just two copies of Hologram. So again, we can pick up a third copy of Hologram if we want it. And also remove a card. Yeah, we can get... A remove at the shop, a remove at the next campfire, a remove at the next campfire after the bosses, and then another remove at the Act 4 shop. So we could go down to a 33 card deck at this point, or a 34 card deck if we were to pick up this hologram, but then I don't know how the math... No, we couldn't quite get a remove in the Act 4 shop then. God, at this point, I mean... What are we even removing? Rip and tear, I suppose? Pretty garbage. 
It's only there for kunai value, and we have other things for that. So let's get rid of Rip and Tear first. At least Sweeping Beam cycles a card. Another copy of Panic Button 2. Man, there's so... This, this run has so many possibilities. Uh, thank you for the follow, by the way. Zap? Ball Lightning? At least Zap is free. Dualcast, I think, still has value with the Dark Orbs and Frost Orbs. Ball Lightning is just always going to be kind of meh at this point. It does say plus on it, though. Yeah, it's too Ball Lightning. All right, Time Eater. Auto Shields? Yeah, I agree. I think I think Auto Shields can also go at this point. Sometimes it works, though. Like, sometimes it can just hang out with Runic Pyramid. We don't have a loop or anything that's going to proc our Frost Orbs beforehand, so we can always get value from Auto Shields um, outside of, like, maybe when we have Echo Form in play, but we can still we can work around that. It's not a big deal. All right, we have our win condition in place already. <laughs> Just let Dark Orb do its thing. Win condition acquired. That's cute. We got a nice little 18 damage coming in. We're blocking for 16, 20 as is, and we're drawing a full five right now. I think we're good. Yeah, at this point, I'm just looking to, like, carefully remove things from my hand as we're able. I think I'm okay with auto shields for zero here. We have, like, leap reinforced body or something. We can only play two cards next turn if we do this. I want to make sure we're drawing. Uh, the time meter is like the classic runer of shiv decks. That's it's really too bad. If it wasn't for time meter, the shiv decks would have a much higher win rate. It's it's such a cool deck. It sucks when it fails like that. The fun eater, Flava Flav. I keep referring to. I don't even know the boss's actual name, but like the second boss, the Time Lord or whatever in uh, Dead in my Dead Cells playthrough, I keep referring to him as the Time Eater because I don't can't be bothered to like learn its actual name. I'm Lord. I, I really don't know what his name is. <laughs> Does have a name? One, two, three. Timekeeper? It could be Timekeeper. I mean, I, I quite genuinely don't know the boss's name. <laughs> if you've been watching the videos and and you know the boss's name, I I trust you. Please give me Echo Form. It's the only thing left. Uh, what were we going to hologram? Could a hologram consume? Seems like a good strategy.
If the person is still here from earlier who asked me what the press E to E build is in this game, this is it. At this point, we can just press the E button, wait for our dark orb to get all the way up, and uh, that's, that's the fight. So we'll pull back our dual cast, and at this point, the time meter cannot scale with strength unless we play more cards. So we can literally just sit here and press E, block for 72 every single turn, and this is the remainder of the fight. Some people love it, some people hate it, but it's a dead slug at the end of the day, and I'm okay with that. Look at this game. How do you ever lose? It's too easy. You just press the E key. We're at full HP. We don't need to double any of our powers or anything. We got our genetic algorithm doubled. I mean, it's... That's it. What about my... <laughs> but what about my dignity? My what? I don't understand. My dignity. Some... <laughs> Some say I lost that when I pressed the start streaming button. Some say. Not me. Seventeen, nineteen, take three? I'm okay with taking three. How angry do we make this bird? I feel like we end up making this bird real, real angry. Nice. Next turn's the multi-attack turn, and that's really just what I wanted the blind for. We also have Dark Shackles now, so... Um, we have Gremlin Horn, so if I were to Doom and Gloom, it would just be basically one energy, and then we get 18 damage on this guy. We have 18 damage on this guy, we've got... 4, 8, 12, 30 damage total. We're like one short. Oh, I've got Zap too. Okay. I think I see the play. 4, 8, 12. Turbo. Oh, Turbo. This is 1428 damage. We can currently block for 20 or 13. In 19. Or we can go big with our first turbo. Turbo is kind of how we get elect or, uh, Echo Form into play, though. Or we can just play Dark Shackles. Full Omomori. We got Omomori like halfway through Act 1. So I, I tried. I actively pathed through events, especially in Act 2, since we had Toxic Egg as well. So we could have had Runic Pyramid Apparitions, and this run might just be over right now. Twenty-three. I say good enough. Hang on to... 
I got to a single copy of Turbo. Really want to echo form this stuff. I guess if we have two capacitors, we can just echo form another one of them. Oh lord, he angry. Hmm. Okay. We have another defrag as well that we can double. Oh, come on. Echo form. My friend has always been on the bottom so far this run. Ah! That's alright, we're getting the bad luck out of the way before the hard fight, so then when we go into the hard fight, we just have Echo Form on turn one, and they say, oh my god, how does he do it? How does he get so lucky? What do you do about this? More like ghost form. <laughs> hey. Be nice to our friends. Echo form. Like if we just press E here, we run into the exact same situation, except I think it's the multi-attack turn. Yeah, just do nothing. Kinda have to turbo. Maybe we waste auto shields. Maybe we waste dual casts. We have Dark Shackles for next turn, I guess. Let's get rid of this card. Let's get rid of this card. And if we could draw one more card... That'd be great. Turbo dual consume. Hmm. Okay, now we have the great doubling. This bird is going to be so mad. Sixteen, more than enough block. Okay. Could start our dark orb too. Let's get it cooking. I like it. Double this guy. Maybe we go for... Let's go for a kunai proc next turn, just in case we need the block, right? You never know. With this angry bird. <laughs> Alright, we'll just get those voids out of the way. Let's see, how, how much damage is this? 36, 70, 82? Right? 72? Yeah, 22... 44, 55. We're actually taking damage this turn. We don't hit one of these buttons. Get this out of our hand. Don't think we'll be needing that again. And we'll ultimately need two dark orbs to kill him in both phases, so doom and gloom is fine, I suppose. If I tried the new STS Twitch feature, I have seen it. Um, I've played around it with in, in uh, other people's channels, and I'm a huge fan of it. I like it quite a lot. I have not personally gotten around to installing it and using Mod the Spire either. I am on the beta branch, it's not a big deal. But I typically don't play without mod, or I do play without mods. Soon. 
<laughs> hey yo. I mean, let's just let's just hit him at this point, I guess. Get rid of this card. Keep cycling things. Let's go for... need like one frost orb so we can get this guy in front. It is. No, I completely agree that it's nice to um, be able to mouse over the relics. I like it. I think I'll... I mean, at some point I'll get around to in actually installing it. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. Hmm. Got him. It's really cool. I think the one complaint that I've heard about it that isn't, it's not really a complaint, but um, there's no functionality for mobile users, which is a consideration. It's always surprising to me how many people um, are actually watching on a mobile device. It is, it's a fair amount. Fair amount of people. Uh, what are you gonna do? I want another attack. I don't really need to be playing this fight, like, this intensely. I, we can't even take damage anymore. For the most part. It would be nice to actually cycle around to some damage cards or dual cast. Bird cannot see. Well, all right then. <laughs> I guess I won't do anything. I think the call was at 14 strength. We got the Awakened One to 18. So it was a good call. Very close. Dual cast in here? It's in our draw pile. Uh, something that cycles. Let's get me out of here. Wait, it was in our discard pile? I missed it? Uh. I mean, at some point, we'll just be able to evoke this for... Uh, for one and get the kill. <laughs> I just didn't see it. Uh, help. Uh, sure. There we go. This is the turn. We can double panic button. Get that out of our hand. Four. You got it. Overclock is the reason. There we go. Finally. That was like a needlessly long bird with arms fight. All right, 167 Spire Bucks going into the fourth act here. And again, we can remove two cards if we want. And after that long fight, we may want to actually do that. Looking at the deck, though, I don't know what we want to remove. We could remove Zap Plus, maybe. Uh, 
could also just eh, you could just remove like FTL and Flash of Steel and forget about the Kunai procs since we're just going full focus. I don't know. What would you guys remove? What do you guys think? Auto Shields was mentioned earlier. Doom and Gloom still has a place. A single copy of Electro? Like this guy? Could be. Um... Sweeping Beam, really? Even though it cycles? I can definitely get down with removing one of the copies of Electro. We definitely don't need both. It's, that one's a waste. Okay. Get rid of this guy. And we'll get our Bias Cog here, maybe. At least. Capacitor. Also, four energy on turn one. Spoon hits just... Oh, no, not just genetic algorithm. Hits genetic algorithm, dark shackles, panic button, chill. Decent consideration on the dark shackles. I think one of the things we're missing here is artifact removed for the heart fight, so we may end up hanging on to a copy of hologram. So we can genet or go for the eyes, hologram, go for the eyes to remove the artifact charges, if we need that. Also have a chance at a duplication potion here. All right, I will uh, listen to you guys. We had two votes for Sweeping Beam. Good enough for me. We could take a third copy of Capacitor for our consume as well. I feel like that's going to be really slow, though. And we have Echo Form, potentially, for our capacitors. All right. The tiny spire shield and spear. The Hand of Greed may be living up to its name. Our only way to turn here is with FTL. So even though we could throw some extra damage into Spire Shield, it's only five. And I don't want to be stuck facing that way for next turn, potentially. Dark Shackles is nice, but again, we can't remove the artifact here outside of Go for the eyes and hologram. Actually, well, maybe. I was thinking maybe we were meant to hang on to Glacier and not get these Frost Orbs in play. Could be a thing. Um, we have Consume in hand if we want to use Panic Button. We can also Hologram back Glacier again, and then Consume next turn with all the Frost Orbs in play. Nobody panic. We've got the button. Nice block. Ah! Wait, hold on. Hold on, they're not supposed to all be attacking again. Okay, we have... We have... Turbo, Echo Form, Consume, Hologram, and Dark Shackles. So what we want to do... Probably Dark Shackles, the right one, and then turn for the left one. 
So that would be go for the eyes, hologram. Go for the eyes. Dark shackles. We can turn with barrage. Okay. Go for the eyes. Uh, we can also... I guess we don't have many more block cards, or any more block cards to play. So maybe my order was weird there. I think we maybe could have cleared the no block thing from Panic Button before using Hologram, if we were ever going to be short five block. For that guy. Okay, let me turn... First. If we don't get Echo Form into play, we can play Electro and then Consume, or Consume Electro. We might have to do just for the block. I want to bring both of these potions into the hard fight. We're just going to have to say that's good enough. Shields being worse than leap is a uh, is a good reason to have gotten rid of auto shields too, even over sweeping beam. Our turn here. Okay, let me figure this out. Four plus sixteen, eighty-eight damage. We've got. 9 plus 37, 46, we can do 74. I feel like it's just always worth it to turn with Compile Driver. It's so much block. Not change anything. Seventy-two damage now. We're blocking for forty-six. We can leap leap for a full block and keep all of our lightning orbs in play. I believe that's correct. Are you doing a lot of damage? see here we got 1836 to all if we defrag a single time that's a kill on the nerds we want to make sure we get a double on our genetic algorithm got him a shuriken oh <laughs> oh that's really nice i mean Better Nathan Lever, am I right? 
He gets it in the final moments. You do. You love to see it. All right. We are against this nerd. We've got a bunch of stuff we don't care about here. Might just be the Swift Strike, so we don't have to uh, draw random cards with Chrysalis in the future. Sure. Okay. <laughs> Literally sparking joy. <laughs> this is the one. Augers, my dude. So we're always doubling defrag with echo form at some point. Maybe we just draw with overclock now. Because we don't have much else to do. We could play Electro just to get it out of our hand. Oh my. We've played power, skill, and we can play attack. Wait! We were meant to double bias. <laughs> oh well. I got so, like, stars in the eyes about having drawn bias cog there. Oh. Oh, the missed efficiency. Maybe you hate to see it, I don't know. Alright, what do we do with our echo form? So we can wipe away all these debuffs for a nice amount of block. I lost... <laughs> I like that. I lost focus literally and figuratively. It's not wrong. Ah. Uh. I'm terrible. All right, power. Play turbo here. Forty-five? What a small number. Does it still count as a perfect heart fight if you end the fight at 100% HP, or do you have to have not taken any damage? I'm willing to bet that you will have had to have not taken any damage, but I'm unsure. can't actually take damage. It makes sense. Twenty six goes to forty, forty three, forty one. Fine. What do we hologram back? I don't know. Could take cool headed again for more draw and block. Could be alright. bronze scales I mean we got we got all the pieces we're very slowly making our way through the actual deck though that's 
That's oh, where's our recycle? That's the only thing that's gonna get us in the long run. If if there's any way to fail this, it's having not gotten. Sir, it doesn't matter. Having not gotten through to our combo, and we're almost there. Uh, consume is here. Nice block on that genetic algorithm too. We're all it's all here. Wait, do we want to do that yet? Pro probably not. Could actually just double consume here or double defrag. Nice. Save the algorithm for 18 times 15? Wait a second. What do you mean? That's why we have the dark shackles. We've got the dream combo here with our double go for the eyes. And we can hologram it back as well. Though at this point, we might, we might want to hologram back like Zap for some passive damage. Unless we're just going for the straight up bronze scales kill. Oh wait, I did not, I did not mean to double that. Uh, Glacier? Do we care about this guy? Maybe we should throw one of those in there, just in case. Just make sure we're drawing as many cards as possible. Uh, I mean, we kind of need to play cards, <laughs> but we play Panic Button just to get rid of it. The Bronze Flex. Hologram, the Hologram. But wait, we only have one. It, we can't. It doesn't discard in time. Let's get rid of that thing, then we get rid of this thing. Double play the slimed card. It does? Does it really? Wait. We shouldn't do that right now. <laughs> okay. How do we do damage? need to get rid of cards, man. Uh. E to E to a T? You think so? You think you just do nothing here? Times fifteen. Oh, we double played. Oh, we double played the panic button. It was four turns of not being able to block. That was not intentional. <laughs> uh, okay. All right, 
Let's play some cards, maybe. Probably. What do we even do? Like, double auto shields? Draw a single card here. Nice, good barrage. So that was FTL and... Auto shield. So we have another double, which should be barrage. We've done damage. The run is saved. <laughs> oh, this is what we've been waiting for. The big genetic algorithm. What a save. I just want to see it. 20 times 15. It's a big number. Not even close, my guy. G a G. That was that was like the perfect defect run. We got basically everything we could have asked for. Even the bias cog at the very end. What more could you want? We got everything we wanted. It was still two and a half hours for this defect run. I think if I uh, if I was really trying, if I was just sitting here by myself, that could have been cut down like another 15-ish minutes outside of some random chatting and whatnot. But still, those defect runs take forever. It really was really relaxed for, for A20. That was like a three energy run too with Runic Pyramid. And it was still... It was still, I mean, basically trivial. There's not much more that we could have asked for in the very end. Outside of, like, the earlier bias cog. Missing some cards. Doom and Gloom. And yeah, actually getting the Peace Pipe at the very end was a huge help, too. Because we were able to thin the deck out from, like, 37 to 24? Maybe? Something like that? But yeah, the double turbos with the, the Runic Pyramid. Pulling an Echo Form from our Power Potion there at the very end. That's about, that's about as easy as it gets for a defect run. We even killed the bird with arms, putting him to 18 strength. That's a good run.